Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. In this video I'm looking at the Quest 2, the 3S and the 3 and we're putting them side by side as you can see and uh, we're comparing them. Which one should you get? Do you have the Quest 2? You're looking to upgrade? Do you have none of them? And you're debating which one to go? This could be the video for you. Okay, so the Quest 2 and the Quest 3 I've had since they launched. I pre-ordered both of these. I paid for them with my own money. Uh, the Quest 3S uh, Meta has kindly sent me um, about a week or so before launch and uh, I've spent a, a little bit over a week with the 3S so far. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd do this video to help some people out and uh, yep. Yeah. So effectively the, the Quest 3S is overtaking the 2. Um, the Quest 2 has now been discontinued, although I think you still might be able to get a few out there, be it at a pretty cheap price point. Do I probably recommend getting one of these, even at like a really cheap price point? Probably not. I, I probably wouldn't get a Quest 2 right now. But as for the current headsets, uh, is the new Quest 3S a worthy successor to the Quest 2? But let's talk about some of the differences I found straight away going from a Quest 2 to the Quest 3S. Now obviously as you can see here, my Quest 3S here has a different strap on it. This is just the strap that they normally come with. You can upgrade these straps to the, the Elite strap, uh, which is effectively the, the strap we have on here. Uh, this strap I've got on the Quest 3 here, this is a Zyber VR strap, but I do have the official Quest 3 Elite strap, and that is the same strap that you can use on the 3S as well, that does fit and it does work. Uh, the only thing is, um, because of the difference here, the, the, the Quest 3 has an auxiliary port on the side on where the strap connects to, and the, the Quest 3S does not, you do have a little hole there where there's, there's no auxiliary, which is kind of weird. Now the Quest 2 does have an auxiliary port, although it is on the other side, so obviously going, like if you've got a Quest 2 right now and you're looking to upgrade, you use the auxiliary port for headphones. This could be a deal breaker for you. You can Bluetooth headphones to this. And I mean, most headphones are Bluetooth these days. The downfall, there is a little bit of a delay, slight delay. Um, so if you want a cutting edge of sound, you're going to have a little bit of a delay. In saying that, the speakers on this are very good. Um, on the delay, I do feel for some reason, I don't know why, uh, the delay in Bluetooth sound between the Quest 2 and Quest 3 is about the same. But I find the delay with the Quest 3S, for some reason, slightly less. There's still a delay there, but it just feels slightly less for me. And I don't know if they've upgraded the Bluetooth module or something. It just feels less or done some, something in software. Um, but yeah, there's still a delay. Just doesn't feel like it's as much to me. Maybe it's my mind playing tricks on me. I don't know. But I went back and forth in some movies, just watching between every three with some Bluetooth headphones on. And I just, I could swear there was less of a delay on this. So that's something to note. Um, on, on terms of uh, the, the factory speakers that they come with, I find the Quest 3 to be a little bit louder. If I'm just like sitting in like prime video or something, watching a movie or TV series, generally I find with the Quest 2 and the 3S, I'm about two or three bars from the top 
volume, whereas the three, I'm about four bars or so from the top volume. So I do think the sound is a little bit louder in the Quest 3. So if sound is your thing and sound quality is really a thing for you, then I really do suggest jumping up to the Quest 3. Not only do the speakers sound a bit louder, but you've got the auxiliary port as well uh, for hard mounted headphones with no delay. Now, in saying that though, I find I don't really use headphones a lot with the Quest 3S. I'm just pretty happy with the sound that's coming out from the speakers on there. I mean, and the 3 as well, might I add. Um, in, in terms of how many times I've actually plugged in headphones to this slot, like next to never. But I mean, your use case is going to vary. Maybe you're the sort of person that's uh, on the couch, right? You're in your VR headset, your girlfriend, your wife, your, your homie is there watching TV, right? But you just want to be in your own world with your headphones. I, as I said, with the 3S you can still use Bluetooth headphones, but you're going to have that slight delay. But it's something to think about. Now in terms of the controllers or the touch controllers, I mean the, the 3, 3S, they're, they're kind of similar here, right? They're same, same. Obviously if you're coming from a Quest 2, uh, I mean there was nothing particularly wrong with these controllers. The rings are obviously a little bit annoying, especially if you're doing something close together with your hands. Uh, I think the, the, a lot of the biggest complaints with, with the Quest 2 controllers is these battery compartments always used to whoop, fly off. You don't get that with these, generally. Uh, there's actually a little button now that you press. Once you press that, then they come out. So that's less of an annoyance now. In terms of like how the buttons feel, I mean, they're, they're kind of similar. I don't think they necessarily feel any cheaper or anything. I haven't had any major tracking issues or anything without the rings. Uh, they seem to be fine. Comfortable wise, it really depends on the strap that you have on there. Uh, the strap that all these come with, which is this kind of strap. It's not the most comfortable, but I mean, if you, you're playing in VR less than an hour, it probably doesn't matter too much. Although um, the way some people have this sitting on their head, it can cover their ears, which is a bit annoying. I, I personally have it come up a little bit more. I, I tighten the top strap up so that it sits above my ears because it's just annoying. Um, there can be a little bit of fatigue, I guess, with, with this strap if using for a long period of time. But that's more of a strap thing than an actual he headset thing. Um, I definitely prefer the Elite strap. So if you can factor that into your budget, that would be beneficial, I think. In terms of battery life, and what I've experienced so far, I would probably actually like give it to the Quest 3S. Um, so far, battery life on this has been pretty good. Um, I wouldn't say battery life was amazing on the Quest 2. Now the, the Quest 3 actually has the biggest battery of the lot, uh, but it does consume a lot more power. So uh, I find the battery does go down pretty quickly on that. This has a bigger battery than the Quest 2 and I get a little bit more out. Keep in mind the, the, like the performance of the Quest 3S and the, the Quest 2 is like totally different. Where they're running two different chipsets. Both the 3 and 3S are running Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 chips, they're more powerful, they're going to give you better graphics in games that require it, and that's becoming more and more all the time. 
So, uh, and especially moving forward now that the Quest 2 is discontinued, I only expect that more and more games now are going to come out with graphics requirements for the XR2 Gen 2 chips. And this is going to just fall behind pretty significantly. It's beneficial definitely to have the, the XR2 Gen 2 chip in this now. You have faster load times, uh, more and more games are now going to, to take use of the XR2 Gen 2 chip. Speaking of visual quality, let's talk about lenses and uh, IPD adjustment as well. Now starting out with the Quest 2, uh, you do have the, the old school IPD adjustment where you got three settings, one, two, and three, that you can just physically move the lenses in and out with those settings. The Quest 3 has an actual dial at the bottom. See that dial? That allows for precise IPD adjustment and a greater IPD adjustment as well. So if you have like an IPD, like you where your eyes are, are quite far apart of like over 70 or something, um, I, I would really probably recommend the, the Quest 3 because this can go a little bit greater than what these two can. Um, the, the Quest 3 just has a better, more precise IPD adjustment and it can go a little bit further as well. Um, the, the Quest 3S runs the same kind of system as the two where you got to go inside the lenses and uh, actually grab them and pull them in and out. They don't have the number anymore, like the one, two, three. You can just kind of feel it, the settings, like it's further in, it's in the middle, it's further apart. Not as good and precise as what you get on the Quest 3. So in terms of like IPD adjustment, you're much more likely to get a clearer vision out of the Quest 3. And then on top of the IPD adjustment being better in the Quest 3, the, the resolution of the screen is better on the Quest 3 as well. On top of that, the, the Quest 3 has pancake lenses instead of Fresnel lenses. That might mean nothing to you. <laughs> And that's fine, um, but all you need to know, they're not quite as clear as the pancake lenses. You do get a slightly greater field of view uh, with, with the Quest 3S as well, might I add. Just to the side, you can see just a little bit more uh, than what you can on these two. In my opinion, the pancake lenses on the Quest 3 are some of the best I've used. Uh, so in terms of like visual clarity, you're really getting the best here with the Quest 3. And for me, that, that's one of the major differences between the 3 and the cheaper 3S. Speaking of the lenses and um, just some of the visual quality in games and uh, like watching movies and things, I, I find the God Rays, which are nearly like a glare from like lighter scenes. You know how like you look into the sun and you got some kind of rays coming off it and it's kind of blinding. In terms of that kind of thing, uh, with the God Rays, it are definitely worse on the Quest 2, not as bad with the Quest 3S, and actually I, I don't really get that too much with the Quest 3 at all which for me, I really don't like God Rays. Um, and it's something I struggled with a lot on the Quest 2, and I, I really didn't like that. And when I heard that this was going to have the same kind of Fresnel lenses, I was concerned about that. Um, but I know with the Quest 2, I, I think they did modify the Fresnel lenses over the course of the, the, the Quest 2 and people got different versions of these lenses. Um, I got the, the first batch of them, which I think was the worst. Um, but the Fresnel lenses on the 3S compared to the Fresnel lenses on the 2 
are definitely significantly less God ray -y than the Quest 2. Um, so I've actually been quite happy with these Fresnel lenses on the 3S. Is it as good as the, the 3? No. Uh, pancake lenses. Pancake lenses just don't have as much God rays. These 3S lenses are actually pretty good. Um, I don't have major complaints with them. And if I didn't have the Quest 3 and I didn't know the amazingness of these lenses, I would actually be pretty happy with this. Also, I think this looks pretty good. I, I like the little three eyes on the front. I think it looks better than that. And you know how like you see a lot of YouTubers and they put the eyes and all that on there? You don't even need to do that with this. Let's talk about a few other things you're kind of missing uh, with the 3S. You don't have the I, as good IPD adjustment uh, as the 3 and uh, e even the 2. You don't have the number anymore. It doesn't really matter anyway, but, but they've taken that away. They've also taken the proximity sensor away. Normally there's a little proximity sensor in here on both the 2 and the 3 so that when you pull this off, the headset knows you're no longer in the headset and it, it doesn't turn off, but it goes into a sleep mode. Now with this, you take it off and it still keeps going. Because there's no proximity sensor. So you just like, when you pull it off, you just press the power button quickly and then, you know, it goes into sleep mode. Then when you go to put it on, press the power button again, comes out of sleep mode. Uh, it's a small thing, doesn't bother me, not really. In fact, some ways I think it's better because if I had a proximity sensor in there and I take my headset off and I've got this strap and it goes in there, the proximity sensor picks it up and then it stays running. So I can physically turn it on and off manually, which I prefer, but I'm that kind of guy that, I mean, even my car, I don't use the auto wipers. I, I just prefer to do it manually. I just like doing manual things, right? <laughs> that might not be the case for you. Uh, in saying that, I have left it on for a significant portion of time and it does eventually just go, okay, nothing's going on here. I'm going to go into a sleep mode. So Meta's lineup currently at the time of filming is MetaQuest 3S 128GB. Then in the middle is this one here. MetaQuest 3S, 256 gigabyte. And then you've got the Quest 3, 512 gigabyte. So this is the top of the line model as it sits right now. Uh, not only do you get extra storage capacity on the device, you get the, the higher quality screen, the pancake lenses, the auxiliary port, uh, depth sensor, which is turning a little bit more advanced than the IR and the flood IR sensors that are, that are on this one. This doesn't have flood IR. It has normal IR, but not flood IR. Now, when I heard that this was getting flood IR, my initial thought when I heard that was, that's interesting. Does that mean this will be able to do things that this won't? And I, I initially thought maybe this is going to work better in low light. And I tested it out and it does. If I go into my bedroom at night, turn all the lights off to watch a movie, this still kind of stays on and doesn't really have too much of an issue. It will even track my hands in, in the dark. Is it as good? in the dark, no, but it's some form functional. But like with the Quest 3, for instance, I can have this on in my bedroom, I can have my bedside light on, and then as soon as I turn off the bedside light, boom, tracking lost with the Quest 3. But if I turn the bedside light off with this on, it's just like meh, it just keeps going. Uh, maybe your use case might vary 
But I can tell you in my scenario, this Quest 3S is just better tracked headset tracking in low light, even hand tracking in low light. And I think that has to do with the IR flight sensor. So let me answer a question between the Quest 2, like if you're on a Quest 2 now, is the Quest 3S a significant enough upgrade to upgrade to this if you're on a bit of a tight budget and you don't want to go for the 512 gigabyte 3? And I would say yes. Um, I, I think you should definitely upgrade to the Quest 3S. If you can stretch your budget to the 256 gigabyte, buy the 256 gigabyte, especially with, with the XR2 Gen 2 chip, the game developers are just going to put better graphics into all the games and then games are getting bigger. You're going to fill up that space. And I can tell you right now, the 256 gigabyte in this, I'm nearly full on this. I'm about, I think I'm 40 gigabytes away from full, but I do have quite a few games. But if you're just getting into VR, because you want to play VR chat, you want to play Horizon Worlds, you want to play Beat Saber, you, you've got a very small amount of games that you want to play and you know you're not going to get too many more than that, then sure, buy the Quest 3S 128 gigabyte, uh, And you can always remove games and uh, reload games if you need to. But if you're the sort of person that just likes like, getting a lot of games, then yeah, get the 256 gigabyte. Uh, I think what qualifies this to be a good enough upgrade to the Quest 2, I mean, it's just really they, the XR2 Gen 2 chip alone, I, I think is enough of an upgrade really. But as I said, like the, I think the sensors are a little bit better on, on the 3S. I do think, at least to my version of, of the Quest 2 lenses, that the lenses, even though they are Fresnel lenses, they are better than the Quest 2, um, in my experience. Um, you don't have the, the rings anymore, so you have like the controllers with less chance of hitting and smashing them on something. Graphically, um, you can now play games with, with a lot better graphics because XR2 Gen 1 support could start dropping and there could be some games starting to come out that are just XR2 Gen 2. To be honest, when I got the Quest 2, I, I didn't use it as much as I thought I would. I, I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. But the Quest 3S, I'm actually liking it more than I thought I would and I'm using it more than I thought I was. Um, even though I do have a Quest 3 here, I still really like to use this. Which brings me on to the next question. Are you wondering which one to buy out of these two? Maybe you are on the Quest 2 and you're thinking, do I spend the extra and get the Quest 3? If you have the money to get a Quest 3, spend the extra money, get a Quest 3. I, I do think the Quest 3 is a significant enough upgrade that if you have the money, like why wouldn't you spend it? For the extra money on top of a 3S, I think the 3 is definitely worth it. Um, for the depth sensor, for the pancake lenses, for the IPD adjustment, for the audio, both out of the internal speakers and the auxiliary port. I mean, really, the pancake lenses alone, in my opinion, I would pay the extra money for on this device. But if you don't really want to spend too much money and you would be pushing it just a little bit too far to get a Quest 3, then I, I wouldn't worry about it. I, I really do think you're going to be happy with this. This doesn't seem 
like a significant step back for me from the Quest 3, but it does feel like quite a good step up from a Quest 2. But I, I would be happy to use this every single day. In fact, that's why I haven't put an Elite strap on this either, because I have an Elite strap there that I can put on this, but like I can travel a little bit, I can like go between houses and currently like I am going between my girlfriend's house and stuff. So this, so yes, is just a nice, neat, small package just as it sits here that I can put in my, my Meta Quest compact carry case. I don't think I'm going to put the Elite strap on this. I'm just going to have it as my portable device. If you have better things to spend your additional money on and you don't want to go the Quest 3, don't. Buy the Quest 3S. It's, it's fine. I'm happy with it. You're not missing out on too much unless your IPD is like significantly wide. That's what I think. Maybe it's not going to be what everyone else says. I don't know. This is a bargain. It really is. If you want to buy this, buy all this, <laughs> buy some accessories, whatever, check out my links down in the description and um, you can get some meta gear down there. It would help the channel out, uh, which I would really appreciate. So thank you if you want to use all that. Thanks for watching this video, everybody. Hit that like button if you like to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next video.